Thank you to everyone for, for listening to me. I'm going to talk uh, briefly about my thesis. Uh, my thesis is about low power class ablative plasma, uh, uh, pulse plasma thrusters. And my advisors are Mario Merino and Jaume Navarro Caballé. So about the content, I'm going to present the motivation and the objectives. And I'm going to do a fast recap about my work along the, the first years of the PhD, because I'm going to focus uh, along the main part of the presentation about the, the, um, the last year, the second part of the thesis. And finally, I'm going, I'm going to also present uh, some of the results about, about my uh, research state um, at JAXA. And I will conclude with a um, uh, review of uh, the dissemination and the next steps, the ongoing, uh, sorry, the ongoing, ongoing work uh, to conclude the thesis along this year. So, which was the motivation for, for this PhD? Um, what we want is to face the lack of uh, uh, onboard propulsion system for CubeSats. And our proposal, it's an ablative post plasma thruster. Why? Because we can uh, manage uh, down scalability in an easy way. Uh, we can uh, avoid also any um, mobile part or uh, injection system, which uh, are in, which add uh, more um, more potentiality for failure in space, and and also it gives us some uh, thrust versatility, just varying uh, the firing frequency. So I'm going to present uh, the the working principle. Um, using uh, the, the pictures of uh, one of the breadboard models. And so with the configuration that, uh, we, uh, that we chose, uh, what we have are two uh, biased electrodes uh, that extend um, defining the discharge channel, and they are separated by a dielectric piece. This is the propellant, um, and they are connected to an uh, energy storage unit. So at the proper uh, electric field uh, condition, what uh, what we can is to uh, to trigger the collapse impedance of the surface of the of the propellant, and we trigger the the flashover on it. So extreme uh, currents uh, we develop, and the interaction between this current uh, with the self magnetic uh, uh, with the self induced sorry magnetic field um, make the plasma to uh, accelerate up to uh, ejection. Uh, in our case, we are using when well, in our case um, usually uh, what we have uh, uh, it's a, a trigger, an external trigger for this chart because if not the electric field demands are so high for uh, the one centimeter typical scale for the discharge gap. Um, so focus on, 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 on sorry. So to, to present which is, is our first uh, main motivation for, for the thesis, for the research, is to, to focus it on a more science approach. Um, because of the, it's true that there, there have been, um, there have been uh, several investigations along uh, pulse, uh, PP, uh, pulse uh, plasma clusters, but uh, there is a still uh, uh, not well elucidated the, the physics behind the ionization and the uh, acceleration. Um, and in a specific, what we want is to focus on, on the, the characterization of the plume. So uh, based on this, uh, these are uh, the, the, a, a simple resume of the, of the objectives. Um, and uh, during the first part of the, of the PhD, uh, we were uh, designing our, our thruster, we were developing uh, the developing it, and for this time we were basing it on, on numerical models and also on a scaling laws of existing PPTs of, uh, that work in this regime. Um, and also we were characterizing the, the discharge. Um, in this case, uh, what we what sorry, what you can see uh, on the right is uh, um, uh, is the discharge is the electrical uh, the, the electrical discharge between the, the electrodes? This is uh, the anode voltage with um, um, and this is the anode voltage. Sorry, uh, represented uh, over time. And uh, what we can see here, it's like a parameterization on two of the main operational uh, uh, parameters that are the electrode voltage 
of the electrodes and also the, the keeping constant that the electrovoltage, how the how the the change on the capacitance, which is also translating the increase of the 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 energy available for this charge, affects it. So what we can see is that uh, to increase the electrovoltage just translates on an increase increment of increase sorry of the amplitude of this charge. But in the case of uh, uh, increasing the the capacitance. Um, uh, there, there is. Uh, it doesn't translate into a uh, change on the discharge uh, when we work uh, under ten joules. But over it, uh, the sorry, over it. Uh, I cannot see. Okay, over it. Uh, the, this, this, uh, this one that does not fit with the other um, to to energies of uh, above that value. We have uh, different behavior that also translates into the the plasma that we as we will see later. So here we have uh, the reconstruction of the discharge from the plasma seed that is provided by the by the trigger uh, system to the uh, evolution of the plasma. This is uh, saturated, but on the top we can see more clear the evolution, also all the phenomena that we identified as hot points, uh, sorry, at hot points, or also the canting, the inclination towards the anode. And here we can see different patterns uh, that suggest that there are different regimes as a function of the aspect ratio between the electrodes. So, I'm going to focus the first part of the presentation uh, uh, on the plume, and this uh, um, uh, involves a step ahead uh, with respect to the current state of the art um, of these uh, uh, researchers. The, of these researchers, sorry. So, what do we have here? Um, in this uh, slide, what I'm presenting are a summary of uh, the, the results overseeing traditional uh, time of flight. Sorry, traditional time of flight setups in which uh, we have a series of uh, props uh, that place it uh, downstream uh, from the from the channel. We have uh, carried out different preliminary campaigns using different type of props in order to explore the operational parameters and, and like the, to identify which is the the best operational uh, operational range and and also. Um, sorry, and here we can see the results of the probes. In this case, with using um, Lamar uh, probes. So we have the ion saturation curve, and um, if we uh, pay attention not to the dot lines but to the continuous one, what we can see is that we uh, expect to have a uh, different. Uh, sorry, this suggests that we have uh, different uh, ion groups uh, involved in the in the within the plume. So um, what we did uh, with this uh, with this uh, setup, it's to have a first estimate of the ion speed and also a first estimate about the, the divergence. Um, what happened? That uh, uh, any of these uh, visually uh, identified peaks are uh, made of the contribution of uh, different ion groups. Uh, this uh, translating in, in time errors that uh, just allows uh, us to provide an average speed uh, but not something uh, so accurate. And this is problematic when we want to do uh, parameterizations uh, under 20 joules. So this uh, the the range in which uh, we usually focus, focus because it's difficult to identify trends. And also, if we uh, pay attention to to our estimate, first estimate uh, about the divergence, uh, firstly we are not considering uh, that the change uh, the the change are in the current is also due to the thermal spread. Um, and so, yes, so what, uh, what uh, is that we uh, feel that we need? We needed uh, an expansion uh, model for, it, for the plume, and this is uh, what, uh, uh, what triggers our uh, next, um, um, next uh, months of uh, research. And here, this is uh, the, the formula that we are basically using, and what, is, uh, what we can see here. Well, what we are, we are working with, um, we are assuming, sorry, that our uh, different uh, ion groups are being created uh, uh, along a delta, uh, a delta Z uh, at a specific location uh, on our channel and at uh, a certain time. Um, time. Um, they have a distribution, a Maswellian distribution, um, that uh, provides uh, each, uh, each uh, ion group uh, with a specific uh, mean speed and, and, and density, and uh, sorry, and dispersion too. Um, and also, uh, uh, we are assuming uh, for each uh, contribution, for each ion group, that uh, they have the same charge state and mass. So they are uh, created at once. Sorry, each uh, ion group is created at once. 
And what we assume is uh, once uh, they were ejected, we don't have any other source uh, of acceleration. And actually, they just expand uh, through uh, uh, by uh, thermal spread. And we did a model I will explain later uh, uh, about the, um, the cross uh, expansion. So with this, we can um, with this uh, uh, with this uh, formulation, uh, we saw that in general uh, we can uh, always. Uh, represent our our measurements with three uh, ion ropes and for the normal case they they uh, raise on 50 kilometers per second for the first one and 30 kilometers per seconds per seconds for the second one which uh, uh, agree with the, which agrees uh, with the um, the reported data in the literature using uh, another um, methods um, sorry okay and uh, what uh, we did, uh, what we did after that? Well, we did a parameterization, as I was uh, um, I was mentioning at the beginning, and we did it uh, modifying two factors that are the the anode voltage and the capacitance. And what we saw is that in general, an increment of the of this mm -hmm. charge energy, uh, just uh, either um, modifying the, the the voltage or modifying the capacitance, uh, translating more uh, complex uh, curves. Um, this means that we can identify different, um, more numerous peaks. Uh, the the higher is the, the energy, um, and the, and it is fulfilled. Uh, sorry, and all of them fulfill what I said that uh, we can in general explain all of them with three uh, ion groups. So sorry, I didn't explain this. Uh, this is the parameterization with it. Uh, this is our nominal case uh, with one kilovolt and six microfarads, uh, and we did just uh, to explore the. Uh, the energy um, under and about that. So, also another thing that we have, you have already consumed your ten minutes, okay. so okay. you need to speed up. Okay. okay. So we saw that the current scalars uh, linearly with uh, with the energy. So, uh, in this presentation, what we can see is that uh, the um, the approximation for the chemical model for the cross expansion. Uh, provides our uh, so much moderate uh, results uh, that uh, makes us to be aesthetical uh, about it and, and that uh, um, um, motivates us to take uh, real measurements uh, along the cross uh, directions. And what we identify with some preliminary results is that uh, we, uh, we don't have a uniform distribution or uniform decades uh, with, uh, from, the actual, uh, from the actual axis toward the the, um, uh, with the radial uh, distance, and that uh, we can have, uh, as this uh, shows, a uh, remote uh, distribution, and also that at least uh, we have uh, more than 20 degrees of uh, diverging, which is larger than the previous estimates. So this is a result that I did of JAXA. I don't have time, but what we, we uh, the, one of the main work I was doing is to, um, to characterize um, the, the operation of the um, mutant uh, with the ion thruster with alternative uh, propellants and also the, the cathode. I was doing this with the Hayabusa thruster and the Destiny Plus. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, Destiny Plus that basically is a modification of the initial design for improving the performance. Um, and also, uh, we have a part, well, we, uh, this is on the review, but we have managed to do a publication about uh, the research, the, uh, about the internship, uh, about this activity of the internship, because it was doing other uh, secondary tasks. And, uh, okay, and about the uh, final next steps, uh, it, uh, fo it's, I'm focusing on the validation of the probe grid systems. Uh, we have uh, to uh, modify the model in order to um, uh, to define properly the divergence uh, of the of the plume um, and to do the parameterization uh, about the the aspect ratio and this is writing about the projects uh, this has been framed by the Martin Lara project and there has been also um, uh, students uh, developing a uh, concept of, for a torsional uh, balance uh, for uh, impulsive uh, thrusters, a PPT. Um, and this is my list of conference, but I'm going to focus on the ongoing publications. Uh, so there is the, as I said, the, the under review uh, um, publication um, about the internship in AXA Astronauta, Astronautica, sorry. And we are working on two publications about the exhaust uh, reconstruction. Uh, the first one placed on the actual measurements and the second for the cross uh, section profile of them with the time, time resolved, sorry, um, curves. And just all, and thank you. Thank you.